Hey there, BrewTube! DJ's here, back at you with yet another DJ's BrewTube beer review. And today we're thinking globally, guys. Why is that? Oh, because we're going to Edinburgh, Scotland, UK, to Innocent Gun to have what? Oh, their rum cask oak-aged beer. You guys will remember that I had the um, original Innocent Gun, and I really liked that beer. I was geeking out. I think I gave it an A- minus or an A. I can't recall exactly, but I do know I really liked it. Um, this one's really fresh, just like the other ones. It dates on the bottle, so I know that. And um, this beer is a Scotch Ale that they, just like their other one, the original, but it's a little bit higher ABV Scotch Ale that they age in a rum cask. And they age it in that rum cask for 60 days, and then they put it in a marrying ton for 47 more days. So, you know, you got a 107-day process there. And what you get is supposedly a super smooth beer that's oak age, that has the rum taste in it, and it's a rotating serving that you're just supposed to freak out about and buy up. So I did so. The only knock I've got about Innocent Gun Beers is that the bottle is clear. And Johnny had this one the other day, and he said it wasn't that great. Now, I got this right out of the case. There no light had hit it, and I put it right in my fridge, in the back of the fridge. So very little light has been to this beer. Um, one suggestion I may have for Innocent Gun, if you're going to be shipping to the States, which is a lot of rivers on the beer anyway, coming over here, put it in, in brown bottles. We don't care here. We're used to brown bottles. We don't have to see what kind of liquid it is until we pour it in the glass. But anyway... Not to digress too far, like I said, 7.4% ABV, and this one's only 16 IBUs. So, let's get a taste on this one and see what we got. Lovely Innocent Gun Crown. They really do have nice marketing and, and packaging and, and a good design on their product. It's, it's, it's quite aesthetic. Um, they said they use Navy Rum casks for this, so which I think is sort of a spicy rum, Navy Rum. Let's see what we got going on here. So this is all. This is almost session strength. Not all the way, but 7.4%. If you're, uh, you know, into some beer, maybe that's not too too strong for you anymore. Maybe it is session strength. So the appearance, it is sort of rum colored, isn't it? Like spiced rum color. It's a dark amber with a lot of brown and red hues coming through it. It's clear beer, not cloudy at all. Lots of active bubbles coming up from the bottom. The heads dissipated rather quickly. Yeah, we've got a solid one finger head on that, super tight bubbles. When I swirl it, you get good alcohol eggs, and the lacing's already clingy on the side of the glass. If you take a look at it, it's a lovely beer to look at. So, let's see what the aroma is and see if it's lovely to smell as well. Right up at the front, you're getting rum and oak. Honey. A lot of vanilla, just like the original Innocent Gun. Sort of a spicy rum, but not too terribly spicy. The more spices, really that vanilla and honey, a little bit of clove in there. Maybe some faint nutmeg. But that really nice molasses, molasses-y, I guess you would say it, or molasses aroma rum in the background. So I'm thirsty, I'm ready to go. It's been a, been a rough day already. I'm ready for a beer. You guys know what it's like when you're ready for a beer after being a rough day, right? That shit's gonna taste good. So let's hope this does. Cheers. Mm. It's very similar to the original. I'm picking up the vanilla, the honey, the oak, the, the wood of the oak, not so much char. I'm picking up rum too. It's not boozy rum. It's fresh sort of molasses kind of rum. It's, it's giving me that sort of island iree feeling, you know? And I'm getting a little bit of clove in there in the flavor, but a lot of vanilla in this one, even more than the other original. It's not tannic at all, even though it's been in the wood for, for uh, two months, 60 days. Um, very smooth, very easy to drink, mild carbonation, full, like a medium body, not a, a full medium, but dead on medium body, easy to drink, goes down really smooth, it has a nice a nice mouth feel to it. Mildly coating, but also effervescent, the, the carbonation there has enough in it that it's effervescent. It's not coyly sweet, and you can taste, detect the slightest bit of hops in here, but the rum is definitely the star of this. It has a bit of a warming effect when it goes down your chest, 
but it's not like you just dumped a shot of rum into the beer. It's it's quite tasty, and you can see I've really pounded this glass down. I'm I'm quite pleased with this beer. I think it's I think it's really pleasant and easy drinking beer, just like the original is. So, what do the other guys think about this? Rape beer is given an 82, and Beer Advocate's given an 86. I know because I looked online a little while ago, the Bros on Beer Advocate give it a 90. I'm more inclined to that 90 scale. I'm going to give it actually a 92. Um, solid A minus, almost an A. Um, I've had a lot bigger barrel aged beers. Don't get me wrong, but the expectations I think I, that a lot of people have when they review this beer are off because they're expecting a barrel aged stout or some big up in your face barrel aged IPA and this beer is never going to be that. It's not meant to be that. It wasn't designed to be that way and it's not supposed to taste that way. So if you're looking for that gigantic up in your face, you know, just Godzilla or, you know, King Kong of a barrel aged beer, that's not this beer. But it is a really high quality and I think almost an A beer. It's the, the one thing that knocks it down for me is um, it's still, I don't get any of the non-freshness taste in this, but I think the packaging, because you look at the beer overall, is where it's letting it down. So we've got a phone call coming in. Um, we're not going to get that right now. but. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching. Remember what I say. Think globally. Drink locally. Support the craft beer movement. It's really hard to pay attention when the phones ring. Um, until the next time, guys, thanks a million for call calling. I appreciate everyone in you. Until then, that's a big peace out.